Bronzeville was the epicenter, really, for jazz, arts, music, entertainment. You know, many people know and recognize Bronzeville because of the history, but there definitely was a uh, commercial presence with other types of businesses um, as well. Really an economic center for Milwaukee's African-American um, community. In 2005, the city of Milwaukee created through legislation um, boundaries for a new Brownsville district. Uh, the footprint is much smaller, um, but I think the goal is the same, to help to recreate that African-American cultural arts and entertainment district. There was a tax increment district created, a Bronzeville uh, economic development plan, a redevelopment plan that was put together that focused on North Avenue as opposed to the original Bronzeville area, which was Walnut. You also had the, the Urban League that came along into the area. So you had these community assets there. And while some projects are completed, you know, with all the King Commons 1, 2, 3, and 4, um, there are several. Uh, the Welfare um, Sanders Lofts, the, um, the old Fifth Street schools turning into senior apartments, um, as well as Garfield turning into apartments and the Holocaust Museum being redone. And the old Walgreens on King Drive in North turning into Pete's uh, Fruit Market. Ten years ago, you know, you, you may have had the, the resident groups like Howyer Park, Brewers Hill, you know, Harambe Associations, but they're starting to connect. And that makes a difference when you have more resident involvement. We definitely have had several um, new homes um, built uh, within Bronzeville um, through the Bronzeville New Homes Initiative um, at the city of Milwaukee on the residential side. Um, and we also have had what will have been tens of millions of dollars um, in development take place along King Drive and North Avenue uh, Corridor. So it's the community aspect, there's the market aspect, the development community, the entrepreneurs, uh, those who own and operate businesses or want to own and operate businesses. There are so many opportunities for people to get plugged in. We also created a, a Friends in Bronzeville, a, a group of people who you know care about Bronzeville and the arts um, and have supported it and through them have helped to create Bronzeville Week. First it started as let's do a day, let's do a Bronzeville day. Then it started as like let's do a weekend. And then you know as the ideas just came through it ended up being a week and a day. <laughs> it's an eight-day um, long festival, one of the longest um, in the city, um, to help to showcase the businesses, the artistry, um, and the area. This area is ripe right now, and you have some successful anchor businesses like, you know, G's Clippers, and you have um, Crown Hardware and Fine Brothers, you know, and then you have those smaller businesses like Birdsong and Import Designs and. Um, Milwaukee Times in the area. So you have some stable businesses that have been here. You really can walk from North Avenue and King Drive to where the Bucks Arena is being built. So with all of that momentum, development downtown, you know, a couple thousand units, you know, within five minutes of this location. I think it only benefits the entirety of the city that as downtown builds up, so does the surrounding neighborhoods. Uh, the city, through an effort called Milwaukee United, is trying to take that into consideration um, and make sure that as planning moves forward, that it's not just about downtown, that those neighborhoods that surround it um, also uh, benefit. So when companies and entities decide to locate somewhere, when people decide to move somewhere, um, and when people think of your city as a whole, they think of all of those things. And so this block is a campus that we're calling the Historic Garfield Redevelopment Campus. And it is going to be home, first and foremost, to the new physical space for America's Black Holocaust Museum and 71 beautiful units of apartments. The idea behind this campus is really to one, find a new home for the museum and then secondarily create a community asset. We are located in the Bronzeville Cultural and Entertainment District, but we are also very well positioned as far as our proximity to downtown. You can use a development like this to be catalytic on so many different levels. You don't build a building like this and not build community. You build a building like this because you want to build community. The better the infrastructure, the better the houses, the more we build up um, the areas around it, it gives a greater opportunity for people to, to live close to where they may work or play. When you have all of these conversations happening and 
they're all in sync. I think that that's the direction we need to continue going in. And by being here at the bid, that's something I can help and work closely with the Alderwoman's office to make sure that we continue to push. And now we have that on the ground push. I'm glad to be a part of it.